Hello everyone. In this video, I will be covering a very important concept called the extended Euclidean algorithm. While the simple Euclidean algorithm calculates only the greatest common divisor of two integers a and b, the extended version also finds a way to represent GCD in terms of a and b, that is coefficients x and y for which a into x plus b into y equals GCD of a comma b. It's important to note that we can always find such a representation. For instance, GCD of 55 comma 80 is equal to 5. Therefore, we can represent 5 as a linear combination with the terms 55 and 80 such as 55 times 3 plus 80 times of minus 2 equal to 5. We will denote the GCD of A and B with G. We can see that the simple Euclidean algorithm ends with B equal to 0 and A equal to G. So for these parameters, we can easily find coefficients, namely G times 1 plus 0 times 0 equal to g. Starting from these coefficients x comma y equal to 0, we can go backwards up the recursive calls. All we need to do is to figure out how the coefficients x and y change during the transition from a comma b to b comma a modulo b. Let us assume we have found the coefficients x1 and y1 for b a, comma a modulo b. Therefore, b times of x1 plus a modulo b times of y1 is equal to g. And we want to find the pair x and y for a and b such that this relation holds. Also, we can represent A modulo B as A minus floor of A by B times B. Let me name these equations as 1, 2 and 3. Now, I will substitute the value of a modulo b from equation 3 to equation 1. So on substituting the value of a modulo b from equation 3 into equation 1, we get this and after rearranging the terms, we will get this equation and from here, we will compare this equation with a times of x plus b times of y and which was also equal to g. So we get the value of x as y1 and the value of y as x1 minus y1 times of floor of a by b. So we have our recurrence relation over here and we also know the base case that is when b becomes 0 then x equal to 1 and y equal to 0. So we have the recurrence relation and we also have the base case so we will be easily be able to code the recursive solution for the extended Euclidean algorithm to find the GCD as well as the coefficients x and y which satisfy the relation a times of x plus b times of y equal to g. So let's get started with coding the extended Euclidean algorithm. For the sake of simplicity, I have displayed the recurrence relation and the base case which we had derived in the previous slide in the screen for your reference. 
step of I'll name the extended Euclidean function as ext underscore gcd and this will take two parameters uh, sorry four parameters a b and we pass it as an address of x and address of y so that the values of x and y keep getting updated in each of the recursive calls so here a and b are the numbers whose gcd we have to find and x and y are the coefficients which will satisfy the linear equation a times of x plus b times of y is equal equal to the gcd so as you can see on the screen we have a base case where if b equal equal to 0 then x is 1 and y is equal to 0 and the gcd is a otherwise let's compute the coefficients x1 and y1 for b comma a modulo b so i will first recursively call the extended gcd and store it in a variable called b so i'll pass the parameter as b comma a modulo b comma x1 comma y1 x1 and y1 are the coefficients which will satisfy the linear equation for b comma a modulo b and as you can see on the screen the recurrence relation tells us that x equal to y1 and y equal to x1 minus y1 times of floor of a by b so the values of x and y keep getting updated in each recursive call and then we will return the gcd so that's it that's the extended euclidean algorithm so i will first take the input from the user in a and b and i will receive the answer in the variable g by calling the extended gcd function and i will pass the parameters a b x and y I will print out the GCD value first, followed by the coefficients x and y. I will be taking the value of a as 35 and the value of b as 15. All right, I will be running the code and the correct answer for the GCD of 35 and 15 should be 5. So here it is. I have got the output. So the value of GCD is 5 and the coefficients I am getting are 1 and minus 2. So it's correct as 35 times 1 minus 2 into 15 is equal to 5. So that satisfies the linear equation 